Hey guys, welcome back to D-Tech. Uh, I'm going to do a quicker video of the uh, review on the Spectre BIOSO Sabers. Um, this is my first diamond controller lightsaber, so it's really cool. I've been trying to play around with the diamond uh, controller. It's actually it's a little confusing to me. I don't know. I, I kind of need some help with it. Um, if anyone can put in the comments some, some tips and tricks with the diamond controller, that'd be awesome. But uh, really, mainly, I'm having a hard time of making flash on clash effects. Uh, for other sound fonts. So I ordered it with Guardian Blue with a red flash on Clash, but uh, I'm trying to get my other, whatever, 14 sound fonts uh, to have its own separate flash on Clash. But um, maybe I'll do another video of the problem I'm having with it and I'll show you guys what's going on. But uh, this is just going to be a hilt review um, of this gorgeous, gorgeous lightsaber. So let's get into it. So this is the Spectre. Um, silver uh, silver switch box, non-illuminated AV switch, uh, silver cover tech wheel comes standard, and uh, silver and black, man, I mean, I am a Raider fan, so maybe that's where it comes from, if any football fans out there, but uh, this colorway, these colors are awesome, like, this saber, I'm going to start from the, the top here, the emitter, uh, see, the, the emitter is gorgeous, window to emitter, uh, set screws out right now because I just have a blade plug in. But look at this thing. It's so nice. Little accent box there. It doesn't really do anything here, but it's just cool. Um, we come down here. This actually does something. This holds the sleeve in so you could loosen it and uh, rotate the sleeve around the main hilt, the main body. So um, let's tighten that up if it's moving on you but look at the etching on this thing just look at that it's insanely detailed like the craftsmanship that went into this is like it's top-notch there's no way no other way to describe this it's absolutely beautiful it's the back of I got the XTAR like 800 milliamp batteries I think they're lithium-ion I uh, charged them up last night because I was doing diamond customizations last night, or trying to anyway, um, and it went dead on me, so that's okay. And here's the pommel, vented at the bottom. It's so nice. It's definitely the nicest lightsaber I own, there's no question about it. And um, man, I highly recommend this. Look at look at the little accent pins. It's insane. Ultra Sabers, I mean, say what you want, but... The craftsmanship of this saber is unbelievably, unbelievably good. It really is. Uh, right now, I think it's set to Black Star. Pretty cool. This is a, one of the preset fonts. It's loud, everything. It's cool. So nice. Anyway, uh, what else I wanted to show you was um, I got some emitters here. So I did order a Warglave emitter, but uh, I did order it with black claws. So it's a little, little disappointing that I got the silver claws, but that's okay. Uh, I emailed, uh, I emailed them, and a couple days ago I haven't heard anything back just yet. But uh, no worries, I'm sure they'll get back to me. But even this emitter is is awesome. So. Uh, I think the silver with the black claws, especially since I, I plan on putting it on the Spectre, is going to be insane. Like, it's going to look awesome. So I think I had someone comment in the comment section. Thanks for you, thank you for the subscription, by the way. And um, if I ever wanted to go for a Sith-type look, I could just throw this one on there and uh, see what it looks like. But I've actually never done it. It's only been in my head that I've done it. So maybe I'll do it right now. Well, why not? It'd be pretty sick. See at the bottom. Oh, that's cool. Sweet, 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 sweet. I mean, even this, like, this is insane. Look how nice this is. Anyway. Like I said, this is all in theory in my head, and these claws are supposed to be black, so I think it would match this hilt perfectly. 
uh, if I wanted to go for a look like that, but man, that's awesome. That is so cool. Let's see if I bring it close. There's a Warglaive emitter on a Spectre. It's awesome. Uh, man, Let's see, that's super sick. Super sick. Oh boy. That's cool. Uh, I also, uh, hold on, let's move this over. I also ordered a pommel. I think I had this in the uh, the unboxing. But it's the Duranian pommel. Uh, just to have like options. So like basically all my other lightsaber hilts, uh, the emitter is not uh, AMHS compatible, but on this it is. Um, but all the bottoms are, right, for your pommel. So like if I ever wanted to swap this out, I could totally do so, which is awesome. That's why I love this MHS compatibility here. Man, that looks even sicker. So now I got a Derinian Pommel and a Spectre, the Warglaive emitter. This thing is a beast, man. This is a beast. <laughs> man. Something I, this is what I really love about Ultra Saber is how you can mix and match things like this. Fucking sick. Kind of, kind of want to see it with the the regular emitter on it. Not gonna lie. Oh man, that's beautiful. It's got good weight to it too. It's awesome. I don't know. I, I like heavy stuff. Not that it's like super heavy, but I like to feel like weight to a saber. It feels so much more realistic to me. But oh man, that's awesome! I love it. Sweet, Dorian Palm is gorgeous. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So just that ability to swap things out—it's so cool. I love that, but um, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'm probably going to do a diamond like uh, setup review on this, too, uh, once I fully understand it, and maybe I'll learn more from the forms. Uh, hopefully, I'll learn more for the forms, but um, yeah, and then we'll also do some, uh, some night tests and color reveals and all that good stuff, um, so yeah. That's the Spectre by Ultra Sabers. Gorgeous hilt. Highly recommend to anybody out there. It's so nice. Best craftsmanship shit I've seen on a saber so far. So uh, thanks for watching guys. Please like and subscribe this video if you liked it, if you enjoyed it. Uh, if not, again, that's all cool because uh, this is an awesome hobby. It's an expensive hobby, but it's awesome. But thanks again guys for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one.